what's up youtube simply on all oh, here and today's opening is gonna be crazy it's gonna be awesome and it's definitely gonna be massive but first i wanted to wish you guys a merry christmas i don't have my hat today but i do have the, the beautiful green screen to help it feel more at home with you guys today's video you know what it's all about this is our annual christmas massive opening um it's gonna be fun it's gonna be awesome sit back relax if you guys don't have someone to open presents with um, open some presents with us because we're gonna be giving away a lot of these cards today you guys so just stay tuned um, and enjoy you guys it's gonna be a good time so uh, today's video is gonna be epic and massive stay tuned for the end though I actually am gonna review and talk about the entire um, product kind of list we have here and what we're opening um, just market wise uh, playability and just all the different products is what I wanted to do this year is actually open up all the products from 2020 you guys so you actually see pretty much everything here. We're missing a couple things that we just opened in our little GameStop video we did. If you want to check it out, some uh, Secret Slayers, Eternity Code. Um, but yeah, just missing a couple things, but we have most of it. So I'm pretty excited to open it all with you guys. So sit back, relax. Also some giveaways. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up and uh, partake in some of the different giveaways as we go through um, this opening here. So here we go. All right, you guys, we're going to start with the first product released in 2020, and that is the Magical Hero Booster Box. This is going to be fun. So Magical Hero, absolute fantastic set when it came out. Um, seriously, whenever you see Konami print the Unlimited and the first edition version, I think this was actually a $100 booster box on release when it was first edition. And then Konami's like, whoa, 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 we gotta get those unlimited boxes out as quick as possible. Um, so let's see what we can get here. Magician Souls still still being extremely valuable. Um, but of course, an unlimited version and a first edition version will you know, slowly lower the price of the cards. But these packs are always gonna be valuable. All right, let's see what we can get. We got a Miracle Fusion, Tuning, Secrets of Dark Magic. That was a new card that was printed in the set. And what's, what's really cool about Magical Hero, I feel like, compared to most booster packs, is that it is... Oh, Synchro Chase. Nice. It's ultra rare card there. It is solely based on the five protagonists from the first five generations of Yu-Gi-Oh! So, I think that's pretty cool, you guys. Alright, Dark Magician Girl, Wing Karibo, Smile, Jet Synchron. We got Automata Pickup. So we got some... You say, Yu Ya, Yu Gi, Jaden. Oh, Gaga Ga, Ga Magician. There we go. And I feel like I'm forgetting one. It'll come to me. But yeah, go, 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 do, do, do. But yeah, 2020. Interesting year. Most people are kind of like good riddance. Good riddance of 2020, but I think product wise or. TCG, trading card games, collectible card games. It's been a pretty great year, guys. I, Everyone knows Pokemon just absolutely exploded um, at this point. It was just it was just dumb what happened to Pokemon. There's a Mag Magician's Navigation. Nice reprint in here. Probably end up being a dollar to three dollar card forever. Um, but yeah, a fantastic year for card games. Yu-Gi-Oh! definitely had its hot streak going for a bit, you know, with the whole uh, Toon Chaos into Battles of Legend, into Rise of the Duelist. It just kind of, Duel Overload was before that. Ooh, Jump Converter, nice. Ooh, and uh, Magician of Dark Illusion in this boost pack. So, that was a good pack. Um, you know, even, yeah, Magical Hero being a first release. It was a pretty good year, and it definitely slowed down towards the end, I think, with Phantom Rage, and, um, oh no, Double Psycho Chase, oh god, <laughs> oh Yu-Gi-Oh, um, with Phantom Rage and Genesis Impact, but Maximum Gold is pretty hot, Maximum Gold still is pretty hot, um, you know, like I've, like I've kind of noted before, we did sell out of Maximum Gold, crazy set, um, just in navigation again, ooh. Like the like those duplicates. It's just kind of crazy to see how we progress through Yu-Gi-Oh throughout the year. Wow. 
You gotta remember, there's some months, I think, was it, was it, no, November or October, where they came out with the four products? Even in like, I think it was like May or June, another four products came out. Magician's Combination, beautiful card there with Dark Magician Girl and Dark Magician. Would make a fantastic flame mat. Let's see if we can get Magician sold. I feel like we can. Uh, Liquid's in here too as a short print, but you know, that's, that's a Jaden card. Let's get a Yugi, Yugi Boy card. Um, actually, honestly, the card that I've probably gotten the least of from this set is the Dark Magicians, which I feel like if you get that card graded and Konami doesn't come out with a higher rarity of that card, I mean, first edition ultra rare Dark Magician, I think that'll be a $500 card graded 10 after some time, maybe even a thousand after some years. That's a, that's a cool card. That is a cool card, Konami. Talk about a nostalgic set. This is this is up there for sure. Nice. We got an elemental hero, Honest Neos. I'm on a pickup. And I know I mentioned in the beginning of the video we're gonna be doing a giveaway. So every single product we open today, we'll be doing a little giveaway for. Kind of like a giveaway pack. Um, and it's kind of like a little mystery pack if you want to think about it like that. So, ooh, Magistry Alchemist. So, for today's giveaway, all you guys really need to do, be subscribed, that's always nice, right? But give this video a thumbs up, but post in the comments what your favorite set is from 2020 and why. Just kind of, what's going on with you? What do you guys think? What do you guys think about 2020 and their different sets? Um, I know a lot of people might choose Tin Chaos, you know, maybe Magical Hero, 2020 Tin, but just, what's your favorite set? Is it close? Is there another that's pretty close? But, why? Maybe a little bonus, what set did you like the least? <laughs> why? Um, and we're gonna be, I think there's gonna be at least, from what I'm seeing here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I think there's gonna be around 15 winners. It's not a problem for us. We will contact you. If not, if we are unable to get a hold of you, um, we will post the winners. We're either going to post them in a, another video or we'll post them on the uh, community section on um, YouTube. Okay, so oh, Magician Souls! Woohoo! Yeah! You kidding me? Double Synchro Chase and then Magician Souls! Jesus! Wow! Guys, one, two per case, baby! Come on! Come on! I had this box just sitting here, too. I was like, man, I want to open up some Legendary Duel Season 6. Um, or Legendary Duel LED 6, but Magical Hero! As soon as possible. I was like, yes, 2020 video. Massive opening for Christmas. Oh, baby, man! That is the best you can do! Wow! It's, it's time to move on, guys. We gotta move on. Let's move on to the next product, because I'm just, I'm blown away already. And guys, guess what I did? Guess what I did today? I brought out the, by the way, <laughs> this is interesting to know. All products here, we still have on simpleandlucky.com. A lot of them are rebuys, meaning we had to just buy it from other people to get the boost packs at least have in the shop. Um, so you'll see, you know, more expensive prices on some of them, but a lot of them, we should have pretty good prices, um, especially the stuff released in the, the last half of the year. Um, but yeah, you guys, this is, we'll have most of this on the shop, including, we actually got a new shipment of the Dark Magician Sleeve, so we should be very competitively priced on these. It should be a uh, good bang for your buck. But yes, the Dark Magician Sleeve for Magician Souls. Unbelievable! I cannot. I can't. I cannot believe we pulled that guy. It's one in six boxes, guys. Booyah! Booyah! All right, all right. That was pretty, pretty epic. We got three illusions and two navigations. One combination there. Um. So yes. Already now, there's going to be one giveaway winner. A little mystery pack from Magical Hero. And uh, I just kind of want to make sure we get through lots of different products here. I don't want this video to be too long for you guys. But at the same time, I kind of do. Um, so, 
Yes, that is our first product. We're starting off with Magician Souls. Remember, check out SimpleLucky.com, you guys. We got links at the top. Ghosts of the Past, all these different products. Ghosts of the Past, that is Christmas. Is it really Ghosts from the Past? I think it might be. Now, now I'm just confused because now I'm thinking Christmas. <laughs> all right, you guys. But yes, pre-order one of the most hyped sets of 2021 um, along with all these amazing products. All right. Next, we're going to go into Movie Pack Secret Edition. Yes, this came out right after. This was a very nostalgic month of January for 2020. Movie Pack's uh, Secret Edition. Wait a minute. This is Special Edition. <laughs> All right. This is Movie Pack Secret Edition. Uh, so, again, crazy month of January, guys. Uh, this is pretty exciting. Uh, I think we were definitely enjoying getting the secret edition cards on release and um but yes first edition dark magician girl potentially in here by far going to be your high value card of the set graded already hundreds of dollars it's it's just nuts i uh, got a little promo pack in here blue eyes and dark magician are short prints it'd be still be cool if we can get one hey obelisk the tormentor i love this printing look at this guy guys absolutely beautiful i love this artwork all right, so we got an Obelisk the Tormentor. We're just gonna well, sleeve that up real quick because that just looks amazing. Now we got three packs here. This is our Christmas opening. Come on, baby. Can we get the Dark Magician Girl? Can we get a Blue Eyes or Dark Magician? Let's see. Lemon Magician Girl. All right, all right. Dark Magician Girls or The Magician Girls. Very nice. Uh, oh, the Dark Magician. There we go. First edition secret rare, baby. Oh my gosh, sorry bro. Um, but wow, the ultimate wizard in terms of attack and defense, I believe he's two per box or two per 30 packs. So first edition black magician, the black dark magician. That is amazing. Oh, sorry, ultimate wizard in terms of attack, second to only, simply unlucky. Fire pools today, guys. Berry magician girl, nice, another freaking magician girl. Two Magician Girls and a Dark Magician in a pack. That's amazing. And then a uh, Dark Cubic Lord, the Trinity. All right, you guys. Next pack. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 What are we going to get next? This is fun. Apple Magician Girl. Yes. Yes. Cubic Karma. Can we get a Dark Magician Girl? Double the Cubic. Celtic Guardian. Not bad. And Dimensional Guardian. Okay. Dimension Guardian. But look at this, guys. We got Lemon Magician Girl, Berry Magician Girl, Apple Magician Girl, Chocolate Magician Girl being one of the more valuable cards in the set. Kiwi, a nice card as well. But maybe this amount of Dark Magician and Magician Girl can bring us that Dark Magician Girl. Yo, yo! Come on, baby. Salt Wyvern. Unification. Ah, Dark Magician Girl! Are you kidding me? Yes! What? She came! What is this opening? One special edition, one dark magician girl, and a dark magician. And chocolate! What? In the same pack? Oh my gosh! Oh, we just missed Kiwi. Wow, we literally only missed Kiwi. Oh my gosh, what a special edition! Holy guaca freaking moly. I, this is crazy. This is crazy. Wow. Wow. This is going to be our second giveaway. A little mystery pack from Movie Pack Secret Edition. So this is a, now our second giveaway product. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Man, I got to sleeve up the short print Dark Magician too. Dark Magician Girl a little easier to pull than I feel like um, Dark Magician here, but she's about two or three, I think, per box. Um, what? That's crazy. That is crazy. Beautiful opening, you guys. Look at the Magician Girls laying out there. We got. I'm gonna leave them out for a minute. Using our Dark Magicians, the Dark Magician sleeves, that's what's going on. That's what's going on. Check out the links at the top, guys. This is crazy. What an opening. All right, now I can't remember what was next. Um, I think it was, was a dual overload, or that we have here anyways. Um, yeah, let's switch it up. Let's go into some dual overload. 
I'm not necessarily trying to open these in order. And then I just wanted to have the structure decks here to kind of talk about with you guys. Maybe uh, stay tuned for the end of the video, guys. We'll talk about the different sets. Um, that's kind of off screen there. Um, talk about the different sets, but I don't really think we need to open up all the structure decks right now. Oh man, what, what an opening. What an opening, guys. I cannot believe we pulled Magician's Souls. All right, third product, third giveaway. Remember to enter the giveaway, just like the video. Post in the comments below. What's your favorite product of 2020 and why? And bonus, what's the your least favorite product and why? All right, look at this. This is dual overload. You guys know what's going on here. We got a needle fiber pack. All right, all right. We got a needle fiber pack. That's good. Um, impermanence is in here. Needle fiber. Honestly, I kind of want to pull the Five God Link Dragon. That would be cool. That's kind of one of my favorite cards in here. I know it's not the most value, but um, okay. Here we go. This is dual overload. Speedroids. Blackwing Zephyros the Elite. Elite. So, Celestial Knights. Sorrow of Us, the Ancient Ascended, and Speedroids. Wow, double speed void there. Speed void action. Sort of short print. Nice, a lot of good dollar cards there. Good dollar card. Okay, here we go. Phantasme. Got a Watt Draft. Cybernetic Overflow. Got a Star Leader Dragon. Pajama Emperor and Malefic Divine. Duel, it's time to go overload, guys. Can we go dueling? Stare sign. Raid Raptors. Union Carrier. That's a good one, guys. That's a good one. Union Carrier. Smorg. And King Dragoon. Nice. Some good boss monsters there. Some good boss monsters. I think Smorg. Always been a, is, it's always been an interesting archetype for me. Um, one of our first, I think, deck cores that we really put together over on eBay if you guys, I don't, we, we don't talk about it too much just because they already sell a little too well, so we try not to like promote them too much. But deck cores, we don't put our deck cores really on the website anymore, but we do put them on eBay if you guys ever want to check out our eBay. There's always a link in the description below. But yeah, one of our first kind of popular deck cores that came out was at Rising Rampage that we uh, really pushed. Union Carrier. That's a good one, guys. I'm going to set out Union Carrier. All right. Two more packs left. Got the Needle Fiber pack still. Or three more packs, sorry. Halfway there. Can we get a permanence or needle fiber? Come on, baby. Hollow Giants. Hey, Cyanet Mining. That's a good one. It was one of the most valuable cards in the set um, before its 2020 reprint. And we got Fright Furs and more Cubics. That's a good card. Um, let's do our needle fiber pack next and pull our needle fiber because that's what's going to happen. Seriously, we're already in the realm of the gods with those two openings. That is literally as good as Magical Hero can get, and that is literally as good, if not better, than one Special Edition. Uh, I guess Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon's in there, I always forget about him. Just because he's not really a chase card for me after some time, he's more of like a really good card that has some value, but Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl, kind of like, this is the cards I want to get graded, you know? If that makes sense. Needle Fiber, baby! Zeke, nice. All right, we got a Sky Striker, Zeke. Very cool. And some Reptiles and some Bloomings. Still got one pack here of a Dual Overload. Pretty good so far, getting some decent value back. You can care, sign of mining. Um, again, with the uh, Five Cut Link Dragon. I like to pull one of those guys, he's pretty cool. Giggle Who, Malefics, Chaos Dragon, Levineer, Alternate Art, Speed Roids, and Swap Frog. Three pretty sweet cards there though. That is dual overload, guys. Oh, by the way, let's check out what uh, what card we got here. Is it the Dark Magicians? Looks like it's. Oh, it is the Dark Magicians! <laughs> nice shout out to the Dark Magician sleeves we're using, guys. Wow. Kind of want to leave this box out to support our cards that we pulled. Very cool. Dual overload. The Dark Magicians. This is, this is how it's going. So we might not have pulled some of our preferred pulls for this, like the Needle Fiber and Impermanence, but we still, however, 
got lots of epic cards here. So, here we go. And there's our pool so far. Very nice cards. This is the godly Christmas opening. Very exciting, guys. You know what? I think next year I'm going to change up how we do this a little bit. And, um, yeah, I have, an, I have an idea. All right. So, Toon Chaos, I think, is technically next. Um, let's do a OTS Pack 13. Let's pop up one of these. Just two here. Ultimate Rares, one in uh, a lot. Floodgate, Spore, Deep Sea Diva. Nice, that's a good one. Look at that, Deep Sea Diva. She's actually got some Deep Sea support from the newer sets, but uh, still still pretty cool card. Classic card, though. I think it had a super rare. It makes me a little sad um, seeing a super rare reprint of her because of her super rare printing already, and I think it was Champion Pack, but still a pretty cool card. Um, so it's OTS 13. Uh, no, no giveaway for that one, though. Um, so, so three giveaways so far. Let's go into... I guess feeling, let's do a little Toon Chaos. I mean, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. This is probably our next set to kind of flow into here. Right now, we're, we're really on top of it with our Yugi cards. You guys know how Toon Chaos works. It's a collector's rare... Um, pop this open here. I think this is the European ones. Um, it's a collector's rare. Is it one out of three or four boxes? I mean, at this point, I would just like to pull some Yugi cards. That would be nice. All right, here we go. Nice. Mass Hero Vapor. Woo! Curse of Dragon. This is definitely European. So nice. And voice, Chaos Sorcerer, Dwarf Star, Mud Dragons. Got some Fright Furs and Fluffles in here. Uh, another another giveaway mystery pack though. All right, Keeper Dragon, Gear Breed, Codes Man. Little numbers, Chaos Space. There we go. Best super rare, or close to best super rare in the set. Extremely good for those Chaos decks. Some Chaos Space. This is Toon Chaos, you guys. By far, one of the better sets of 2020 for sure. Probably my favorite set of 2020. Just because I really like Toon cards. And I kind of like Chaos cards. <laughs> Crossover. Cyanets. Black Luster. Sangan. We've got a Solid Soldier. Infernal Nomonite. we got a Renaud. First Ultra Rare card. Um, you can get a pot of... Extravagance in here is an ultra, I believe. Just to throw that out. Personally, I would like to pull Collector's Rare for you guys. Um, but if we are going to pull a Collector's Rare, I actually have not pulled Black Luster Soldier and would be, and I've opened a lot of these boxes as a Collector's Rare. We did uh, pull the end. There he is. Oh, Toon Terror, nice. Super rare. Um, we did pull the end, and I think uh, Sam, Team Samurai knows all about that. Obliterated his collector's rare box with ours. Let's see, you guys. Can we beat the odds? I was going to say, Toon Black Luster Soldier. Oh, Double Toon Terror. I like that. Um, Toon Black Luster Soldier would probably be the card that I, the Ultra, I would like to get from here right now. And a bottom extravagance! Man, we are on fire! What? So this makes it one of the best boxes possible without a collector's rare. Pot of extravagance. And see, now here we go back to Genesis Impact. Konami, there's no pot of extravagance in there. See, now you got a meta card slash kind of casual. You know, this is a pretty cool card. It's got pot of greed on it. Um, that's really good that is a collector's rare and is in the set. I guess that was kind of their Nightmare Unicorn type thing, but man, I don't think Pot of Extravagance, Nightmare Unicorn compares. Wow, what a pool, guys. We have so much fire going on. So much godliness. We can't stop it. Can't stop, won't stop. Unbelievable, guys. We'll just, we'll just like that okay, so at this point, I don't know what we're looking for anymore. It's just 
It's just so good. Pot of Desires. Got a Fright Fur. Gosh, these European cards are so pretty. Crossover Stardust the Dragon. Uh, Stardust Dragon would probably be another pretty epic collector's rare card, guys. <sighs> gotta, gotta admit. Gotta admit. Black Luster Soldier again. Got a uh, Sublimation Knight. Gosh. Just seeing that guy on all, all these different packs. So happy. All right. Pot of Desires again. Wow. We got a hope. Got some hope going into our last couple packs here on the right side. Man, we got a pot of extravagance. That means most of our value back, along with all these other cards. Black Luster Soldier again. This is the Starlight Road, baby. Let's go. Man, I love seeing Chaos Pack there. Last pack here. Come on. Right side. Yo! Hey, two Harpy Lady. Nice super rare to pull. Uh, Tune wise, we're doing pretty good. Super rares. Got some, uh, got two Tune Terrors and a Tune Harpy Lady. Very cool. Lots of cool cards today, actually, guys. Just keep one of those up for now. All right. And then, I'm trying to make sure I keep these cards a little separated. Um, I think we're going to. Move forward for now. Maybe come back to some Toon Chaos to see if we can pull that Collector's Rare. Definitely one of my favorite sets by far. Got the Pot of Extravagance. Got a couple Toon cards here. Let's just see what else we can do. Speaking of Toons, why don't we tune it up? Can you believe Konami came out with like two products in a row that had Toons and they hadn't come out with Toon cards for like ever? It seems crazy to me. Season 1. Let's get some Toon cards for you out here. Again, Season 1 probably not... I just wish they had so many options. I feel like Konami had so many options to just do great things with this set. Could have made, again, higher rarity new or older tune cards. I just, that blows my mind that you have the opportunity to do that and you kind of don't. Um, go ahead and put this back together here if I can. Um, yeah, you guys, tune, Legendary Duel Season 1 has lots of tunes inside. It's got a lot of red eyes cards and stuff like the Joey cards and, um, our secret rare here. Not the best, but I just kind of want to show it off here. This is Cocoon of Evolution from the set, Ultra Evolution, and Weevil. At least at least we got matching cards there. So, uh, pretty cool. I like how they did this. This is a foil token card with a puzzle on the back. So, this is Season 1. I like Season 1. Definitely going to be something that's going to retain its value, I think, for a long time. Is it going to be the most valuable thing? I don't know. I just wish they had higher rarity cards in here, not just kind of this same rarity throughout. Eight hey, Toon Ancient Gear Golem. Nice. Crystal Beast cards. Red Eyes Inside. That's a good common. Gear Golem. Dark, uh, Cyber Dark Impact. I did not know Cyber Darks was Zane. I didn't watch those later episodes of uh, GX. And so, you guys telling me that was one of the first times I heard that. That's crazy. Rainbow Dark Dragon. Manga cards, because why not? Crystal Beast. Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon Ultra Rare Purple, if you guys can see that. Okay. Red Eyes Black Dragon Ultra Rare Purple. That is one of the more valuable cards in the entire set. Are you kidding me? We're just doing so good here. I, just, I don't even know. And then you had one of those weird reprint cards. Um, or Foreshadow, what's it called? Pre-release cards. Unbelievable. I like the purple on the Red Eyes too. Cross-dimensional. Toon Cannon Soldier, couple tunes, and Rainbow Dragon. That's a cool color. That's a good one. Nice little opening there. That was season one. Wow. Oh, that's our only, that was one pack. Holy crap. Yeah, we destroyed that boost pack. Bringing back those Dark Magician sleeves. Remember, check out the links below to get some of those. Definitely have some. Look at that. We are just in nostalgic town right now. This is great anything else i'd want from this set season one um besides the tune cards man we already pulled the big red eyes card this is uh crystal beast oh we got red eyes fusion and we got red eyes and we got insight wow amazon is call ancient gears melfies 
Oh, two mermaid, cool. Black dragon's chick. Wow, wow. Anyone else seeing this? We're gonna have to get, that's a dark, that is a short print dark magician pool along with a pretty hard to pull ultra rare red eyes along with the red eyes fusion. Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? You guys thinking what I'm thinking? Dragoon, Dragoon. We might have to just skip to opening some 2020 right here right now guys, because that is the way, the truth, and the light right now. Unbelievable, we're just gonna have to Wow, this is getting crazy. This is getting crazy. Okay. Okay. Next product, I think would normally probably go into Battles of Legend. Maybe we'll do a do a little bit of Battles of Legend right now. Oh come on, I gotta we gotta do one pack. Let's just Do you know? Did you guys know it's a possibility you could pull two dragoons in one team? Somebody at the shop did that. Crazy. But Dragoon kind of lost some value. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> we, we have a 2019 tin. I didn't notice guys. Oh no. Oh man, we're committed. We're committed. Oh no. Oh, this means I don't have a 2020 tin. <laughs> Oh no! The story of Dragoon will remain. Merry Christmas! Oh, we just opened up one of the most valuable tins right now. Oh god. Well. <laughs> oh crap. Oh my gosh, my soul! This is a first edition? Is it really? Oh no. This is a first edition 2019 tin, you guys. These are very valuable now. Uh, they made it unlimited. Konami made like three unlimited print runs of this and they just instantly sold. So if you guys can nab a good price first edition tin, I don't even know if we have any left. We sell, we get one here and there, but. Wow. 2020 tin. All right, all right. I'll save the promos for last. 2019, we're throwing it back. A little throwback tin for you guys. Here we go. Salaman greats. Hey, hey, hey. Cyber Switch, Danger Chupacabra, nice. It's a good secret rare pool. And Nightmare Phoenix, this is a really good pack. Uh, Nightmare Phoenix just getting a reprint as a rare though, ouch. But that's pretty, pretty nice, pretty nice. And you know what? We're back to another giveaway. Again, each individual product does have its own giveaway that is a product release. The OTS packs, we'll leave those out for now, but 2020 tin was supposed to be a little 2020 tin mystery pack for this giveaway winner, but this time it's going to be 2019. But we also have that season one, um, along with the Toon Chaos mystery pack. Just remember to give this video a like and a thumbs up. That's the same thing, along with a comment of your favorite product from 2020, along with bonus. Maybe let us know your least favorite product of 2020 and why. All right. Our first pack there, actually a pretty good pack. Um, if you guys remember, Danger and Nightmare are together. Uh, usually meant your value back in 2019 anyway. Okay, next booster pack here. Paladin of Storm Dragon. We got Dark Dragster, Vampires, Afterburners, the Enchantress of Avalon, and another Danger there. Ooh, Vampires again. These common guys, these common cards are actually quite valuable when it comes to the uh, like for hires and vampires. All right, last pack, come on baby. 2019 tin, Cosmo Brain. Got a Doolittle Chimera. Galaxy Eye Soul Fair Dragon, wasn't the most valuable card, but I do like how it looks in that prismatic secret. Pretty card. And a Nightmare Unicorn! Oh, that was like the most valuable, one of the most valuable cards in the entire set. Just got reprinted. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. We got we got Nightmare Phoenix, and we got Nightmare uh, Unicorn, and they just got reprinted. Genesis Impact is rare, destroying their values. But these are still look pretty valuable. These are ultra rare first edition uh, Nightmare cards. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, guys. Let's just set that out there. These will definitely be part of 
a little something something. All right, next little mystery or a little uh, tin pack here. This is our time. Dark Ruler no more. Nibiru. God card. So much. Okay. Magician of Black Chaos. Paladin. Paladium. Oracle Mana. Little Dark Magician Girl. Right, Gecky. Golly, guys. Talk about promos, man. Say what? Got like a Dark Magician Black Chaos looking dude. Got a Dark Magician Girl looking girl. Wing Dragon of Raw for the Nibiru. Oh, <laughs> Dimension Shifter. A little shifty guy at the end there, huh? Little Dimension Shifter. All right, you got me. Still beautiful, guys. This is the 2019 tin. Talk about godly. What a tin. And double unicorn. Crazy. So we got an obelisk and a raw so far. Is there a way to get a slifer? <laughs> And a little Raigeki action going on. Man, I'm just classic cards all over the place. Let's go, baby. All right. Got our 2020 cards there. Uh, let's go back into an OTS 13. Very low odds of pulling an ultimate, but believe in the heart of the cards for it will guide you. Got some ultimate Tzolkin. How do you say that guy's name? Pretty popular for a quick minute. Spirals, again, with the uh, Magician Souls that we got there. Very nice. Okay. Unbelievable. Cannot believe I grabbed a 2019 10 instead of a 2020. Yu-Gi-Oh. All right. What is next, my friends? This has been such a good time. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Well, I guess we know what's next. I'm already opening it without even thinking. It is... A Battles of Legend box. One, if we open this whole box right now, don't know if we can do that, but one in 50 chance <laughs> to get 10,000 drank. One in 50. Holy guacamole, what are we gonna do? Lots of value in here as well. You know what card we haven't seen, though, is that weird Astral Language Utopia. That's also one in 50 boxes. Um, you know, throw it out there, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Gods. Think about it. Think about it. First pack. Ooh, that's a good one. Numeron Network. So, secrets in the front. I uh, got some Salaman Greats. This set is really good. Appliances are really cool. Um, the Numeron Network, that's a really good secret rare card from this set, nice. Battles of Legend Armageddon. Again, this was our sellout set, guys. I get Toon Chaos. It came out, you know, $100 set, you know, 120 real quick. Uh, Legendary Duelist Magical Hero is just awkward for us. Some issues there, but um, Battles of Legend Armageddon. This sold out the weekend we got it. I had people wanting cases of this thing. This was like sports cards. People were just like, I am down to search for. Look at that. Mythical Beast of the Forest. And Utopia the Lightning. You know, Fossil Dude. I am down to just search for that 10,000 Dragon. Unbelievable. Oh, there's a Dark Magician on the field. All right. We got another fossil dragon there, Necros. Some cardigans. Some appliancers. Battles of Legend, Armageddon. Crazy value already, this set. All right, Specimen Inspection. Another Mystical Beast cards, and it's crazy, these uh, Mystical Beast cards work quite well with the Fluffles. Fluffle deck. Another Rise of the Duelist product. Fossil Fusion. Man, we are destroying a fossil deck right now. Artifact Sanctum and Cross Sheep in this set. Cross Sheep holding some great value for some time there. Come on, Battles of Legend, guys. Battle with me. Hey, Madolce and Jelly. I like that. That's cool. Yeah, 
from this. Look at that. A Elemental Hero Shining Flare Wingman as an ultra in this set, along with a Elemental Hero Chaos Neos. Cool. Uh, this will be another giveaway product. Just to remind you guys, go on the mystery pack, high rate draw. We're trying to do some stuff with that. Jinzo card, invoked. So if we're only opening a half box for now, one in a hundred chance. That's not that bad. It's not that bad. Just keep telling ourselves, guys. Keep telling ourselves. I like that guy. Malefic uh, Paradigm Dragon. Um, yeah. Pulling. Technically, it's one in 25 for a... Starlight card. I'll probably explode, by the way, if we pull one of those. <laughs> so let's, maybe we should. Maybe we should pull one. I'm being very quiet right now. This is this is very surgical. Danger Jackalope. Nice, that's a good one. More invoke cards, Silent Mandrates. Our little Neos guy there. And this is our we got two packs left. This opening is already done, some crazy stuff. Pull the best card in that set, pull the best card in that set. Uh, I'm still looking for Collector's Rare, still looking for Starlights. Network, uh, Numeron Network, one of the better cards in the set. Squirdo, however you say that guy's name. Good elemental hero cards we're getting from this uh, Battles of Legend. Last pack, I can't get this pack out here. Might be a good sign. There we go. Dun 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 dun. Glacial Beast. All right, all right. All right, we'll take a little break from our Battles of Legend booster box there. Pretty cool, pretty cool set. Um, and let's move into <laughs> some Drags of Legend Complete series. I think that that would be a I, I still can't believe we had a 2020 10 instead of, or 2019 in 10 instead of 2020. That's a little crazy to me. A little mind blowing. And again, guys, stick around for the end of the video. I think uh, I'll take some time to talk about my opinion of the different products from 2020. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got a Hermos. Nope. Nope. Got a dice there, though. This is the complete series. So from this set, you guys, we are looking for um, Tamias. There we go. I have Tamias. That's the Tamias dice. Um, we are looking for Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight, alternate, alternate art. Guys, you got that mint condition. You might want to hold on to it. That card, if this is the only time it's getting printed, Konami knows what they're doing. Just wish, Konami. Just you know, throw it down one more time. Chase rarities. I just wish you would have had a chase rarity of that girl because that would have been fun for us collectors. Um, but yeah, Dragon's Legend Complete Series. Toon Kingdom, guys. Toon Kingdom. It's time. Move back that. Set that right there. Um, personally, Jinzo. Cyber Harpy Lady would be nice. Wizard of Tomorrow. Still cool. They're all pretty cool. Wizard of Tomorrow. Nice uh, secret rare card. Um... Another giveaway for this product too. Here we go. Complete series. Come on, baby. Got a prediction princess, black wings, trains, flowers, hands, tune rollbacks. Hey, number 100 Numeron Dragon. Actually one of the better cards in the set. The Fang of Critias. And the Dark Baby! The Dark Magician Girl! The Dragon Knights! Alternate Art! What? What? You guys, are you kidding? Come on, look at this, look at this. We got the Dark Magician Girl. We got the Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight. Out of one box, that's instantly our value back. Yo, wow. We are on fire with Dark Magician Girl. It must be the sleeves, it must be. Speaking of fusions. Unbelievable, guys. Let's just take 
take another quick look at her. What the heck? What a video. Still have another pack. Wow, if we can pull Team Kingdom, I don't even know. I don't even know. There was a time. Did we do that? Did we open one pack and pull two alternate art girls in one pack? By the way, guys, I've never seen that. I think we did that. I've never seen that ever after that. That was crazy. Anyways, odds to pull crazy things. Oh, two kingdom! What? 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 You kidding? What? That's crazy! What? The two cards we wanted? What? And it's the ultra rare version. I like the ultra rare. What? So much godliness all over the place. Oh my gosh. What? That makes everybody think season one or complete series is incredible. Guys, we just pulled the two best cards in the entire set. I am just, whoa, whoa. Okay, all right, all right. Let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. But something's telling me to continue with the nostalgia. We're gonna hold off on Rise of the Duelist for a minute. Let's just, let's get in a little bit of uh, Rage of Raw here. We have a one in 12. If we open the whole box, we got a one in 12 chance of pulling. Ghost Rare, my man with the plan. Wow, again, shout out to the links in the description, guys. We have all of these products on Simply Unlucky. We have all of these products. All right, Rage of Raw time, sub in, sub out. Beautiful box there. Let's go with Toon Chaos right there. That little Toon guy, that little Toon. There we go. All right, first pack. Mech Lords. So interesting about Rage of Raw is it, it's just hard when you have a 60 card set like Magician Souls, you know, and I know we did it good over there. Ooh, Jinzo Machine Menace. I love me some Jinzo cards. I love me some Raw cards. I hope you guys too do as well. But after a while, like if you're opening for a Ghost Ray, you're opening, you know, potentially 12 boxes. We have one today. Um, it's just, 60 card set, I feel like this is where a subset would come, come in handy. You know, kind of, that's kind of my opinion when it comes to Rage Raw. I think we need a subset of cards in here that make it more fun to open up multiple boxes. Like, I mean, the ghost, ghost of the past, from the, ghost from the past. Is that really the name of the set? See, I'm just gonna have through this whole video. We got the pre-order link in the description below. Uh, but that's Konami's new, like, hype set. They're like, yo, we're putting five ghost rares at least in here. Um, but just imagine that for Legendary Duel Season 1, or any of the, se or any of the, the sets here, Rage Raw is number 7, LED 7. Um, imagine if there was a subset of 5 Ghost Rares. I had a thought that all the God cards were Ghost Rare for a second. <laughs> Holy crap, this box would have been hundreds of dollars. I don't know, Konami, I just feel like you got Pokemon over here making Hidden Face and Shiny Face, and they have a 110 card subset. 110 cards. Their main set is like 80, 90, whatever it is. I don't know. Brain control. Five card ghost rare subset. Man, thinking about that. Something pretty nice. Pretty nice. Shinzo again, we got mech lords. I would like to pull a short print card, maybe even a wing dragon of raw for you guys. Blaze Cannon, got Raw on it. Jinzo, Jay, there's the man, the myth, the legend. Jinzo, give that Blaze Cannon a little bit more screen time here. Look at that, woo! Oh, that picture looks sick. Just put that as a Winged Dragon Raw picture, wow. Very nice, Konami, I like that. I like that picture. Okay, a few more packs here on this right side. We'll love to get you guys something. Odds are 
what are we, for a half box here, we're a 1 in 24 chance of getting a ghost. But uh, maybe, just maybe, a ultra rare slime. Loft Cosmos, good card there. Or maybe, just maybe, a raw. Alternate art raw, would be cool. Double blaze cannon. Oh, cool picture though. You know what? This is bringing back some memories from our Magical Hero opening. Double, what was it? Synchro Chase, and then Magician Souls. I think something's about to go down, guys. I think some Christmas magic is about to go down. By the way, new product, another giveaway. A little mystery pack giveaway. The cards that we pull from Rage of Raw. Wild monster appears. Two more packs left on this right side. Mind control. Got more Mechlord armies. Last pack. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna dip into the left side here. Just like we did for that magician souls. The army. I don't think I've still pulled I've I've not pulled God Slime for you guys. I don't know if I've done that. The card is so dang hard to get. I think it's two per case. Two or three. That would be a good pull. Of course, any sort of raw. Come on, let's rage together, raw. Double blaze cannon. Seemingly not the best box, but things can turn around instantly, if you believe. <laughs> Guardian slime. Ooh. Oh, a little bit of soul crush there. It's okay. It's okay, come on. You guys, we got this. Believe together, Psychic Bounder. Come on. Raw, 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 raw. Rage of Raw. We got Brain Control and Mind Control in the same pack. Come on, Merrick. Still two packs left. I don't, I feel like something can happen. I feel like something can happen. We've got four Ultras so far, right? I hope leaves us room for one more. Oh, come on. This is it. This is it. I'm feeling it. The fire's heating up. Winged dragon of raw. God slime. Come forth. What's the chant? What's the Winged Dragon Raw chant? Millennium Revelation. Did we seriously pull five Ultras? No. No. Oh, Ancient Chant. <laughs> That's the chant. That's the chant. We'll leave those two packs there. That's the chant. No, 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 no. Come on. There's very point zero zero something chance we get. We get something out of these last two. Can't we can't leave can't leave us hanging. Ancient chant, you guys. Wow, that's the chant right there. Um, short print though, actually, the ancient chant. Not easy to pull. One of the more valuable cards in the set. That allows you to summon your raw. Yes, beautiful card there. So technically, we did get a raw card earlier. I'm not mistaken. Did I leave it? Did I leave it out here? I did leave it right there. There we go. So Wing Dragon of Raw. Ancient Chant. Booyah. Alright, guys. So we're still we're still moving in the right direction here. Still got lots of cool cards. This is our complete series cards there. Another giveaway with the some of those. Rage Raw, a little mystery pack for you guys. And then, um, all right, you guys, it's time. Rise of the Duelist. 
There's many things that can happen with this set. Pretty sure we got multiple 20 to $50 ultras in here now. Um, three secret rares that are like 80 to $100, maybe more. Depends on who you get them from. Um, first edition Rise of the Duelist, guys. This is a big boy set. This is big. Not to mention, I'll, I'll throw it out there. Starlights, star bright. Will you be in my dreams tonight? <sighs> Beautiful set. Also, I love how this set looks. Very similar looking to Soul of a Duelist. Here we go. Rise of the Duelist. Got Dark Lord cards, Linker Bell. Guy of the Magical Knight. That is one of the Starlight Rares. God, this set is really good. You got Dark Lord cards in here. You got Gaia cards in here. Mm. This set's good. Um, another mystery pack giveaway though for this set as well, guys. Remember, just like the video. Favorite product of 2020. Little bonus. Least favorite product of 2020 and why? Melfi cards are in here, guys. Infernal Noble Knights are in here. Jeez. This is the set. This is the set. We got a Infernal Noble Knight. We got an Ogier. Ogier. Man with the plant. Is it uh, Ice Dragon's Prison? Is that the one that's like $30 to $50 Ultra? Gosh. It's not, this is not the set I go and look at prices very often. It's kind of... Fluffles and Melfies. Jeez. Galloping Gaia. Seeker Rare Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon. Okay. Still a pretty cool card. Got a Secret Rare Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon. Shout out to the Yuya. I always forget their, their names there. Yuma. So we're going to open the front of some other packs here. Let's see what happens. Dogmatica, Galloping Guy again. Got a Deep Sea City. Spiral Fusion. Rise of the Duelist. One of the most valuable core sets ever made. Speedroids. Here we go. Let's see if we can rise to the occasion, guys. This actors. We got Dogmatica, the Knighted, Secret Rare. Wow. Two Secret Rares right there. Dogmatica and the, let's just, let's jump to the bottom of this box and just see, let's grab a couple packs here. A couple packs there. Let's just see if we have a chance. Maybe one, one more pack. From the middle. Moment back there. Let's just see if we have a chance to pull that Ice Dragon Prison. See if we have a chance to pull Starlight Rare. Come on, baby. Rise of the Duelist. Hey, Melfi in the Forest. <laughs> you know, you know. Next pack, Rise of the Duelist. Rise! Hey, the first Dark Lord. Nice super rare pull there. Definitely my favorite pictures from this whole set. Beautiful. Can we get that Ultra? Thunder Hand. Ooh, Okami! Oh man, it's, uh, my soul! My soul burning bright. Come on. Got a party. Party time. Party time, guys. Here we go. Hey, got another Dogmatica card. And last pack of Destiny from our Return of the, the Duelist Booster box here. Starlight, Star Brights. Will you bring us a. Ice Dragon's Prison tonight. 
Guy the Fierce Knight. Nice. Very cool. Super rare card. Wow. What a set, guys. So much value. So much value. It's hard not to open more of that, but I'm going to leave it where it's at for now. Okay. Still got Phantom Rage, Genesis Impact, Maximum Gold. A couple little special boxes uh, we have here for you guys. Um, maybe, maybe, just maybe, I will... Um, grab one of those. Something I, I found the other day. I thought would be pretty cool. Merry Christmas, by the way, if you're joining us at an hour into the video. <laughs> um, something I grabbed the other day. It could be pretty fun. You guys know Six Samurais are my favorite archetype. This is a Storm of Ragnarok Special Edition. Worth quite some value nowadays. Let's see what we get. Come on, baby. This is 5D's Storm of Ragnarok Classic Booster Pack here. Let me see if I get a, a whiff. 5D's. Smells like 5D's. Um, three packs. Pretty hard to pull an ultra super, um, but I think we can do it if we put our mind to it. Really hard to pull an ultra. Kind of really hard to pull a secret as well. Very, very hard to pull an ultimate. Let's see what happens, though. Ghost Engine. Oh, Ultimate Rare Thor! Lord of Acer! Hope I said that right. Thor! My man with the hammer! He has a hammer, right? What? What? Three packs sealed from a special edition, and he pulled an ultimate. Guys, you can open 10 of those special editions and not pull an ultimate. Whoa! When I saw the white, I was like, Ghost Rare? <laughs> there is an Odin Ghost Rare in here, and I have never pulled him. Thinking back through our thousand videos, I don't think so. Wow, an Ultimate Rare Thor. Imagine if this was first edition, guys. You're talking graded 10, hundreds of dollars. This is, holy crap. Foolish return. She and Squire, we got a 6 m red card. Oh, well, that just made up for the entirety of that return of the Rise of the Duelist. Oh, my gosh. Dark Magician Sleeves. Still got them. SimpleLucky.com. Well, for now. I don't know after this video. Thor. Unbelievable. Ultimate rare card from Storm of Ragnarok. I was just trying to... Speaking of Six Samurai, we got a hand. I was just trying to show off some Six Samurai cards. We'll probably do a little giveaway mystery pack for this. I think this is be fun. Guys, it's already difficult to pull one foil from three packs from 5D sets. This is a 5D set, but to get an ultimate, maybe one per box, maybe. Barrier Resonator, Cyber Shield, Nordics. Got a tier of the Nordic champions, another Sheehan Squire. God, I love the Nordic cards. They're just not so good, but man, I'm, I think we'll, we'll make a Nordic deck core over on eBay. That'll be fun. I'm gonna put some Nordic stuff together. Last pack of Destiny from 5Ds. This is the set. Kagamusha! Actually, it was a very valuable common um, on release. Kagamusha, the Six Samurai. Needle Balls. Nordics again. Nice. Token Sunday. Got another Six Samurai, right? Not bad. What? Ultimate Rare Thor from three packs, guys. Oh my gosh. We pulled uh, from our Millennium Pack the other day. We're searching for the $1,000 card. Um, it was unlimited packs, but first edition, um, Thunder Giant. Oh, that's kind of Thunder Giant, Thor, both have Thunder. That's kind of, I think Thor is trying to tell us something right now that we can pull. We got Thunder on our side. Uh, all right, so, um, but yeah, we pulled that ultimate rare from the uh, Millennium Pack that we opened. Millennium Pack, what am I saying Millennium Pack? Lost Millennium, especially. Wow, it's, that's crazy. Oh my gosh. Some uh, blessed by the gods shenanigans. All right, all right. This is where we get in some Konami openings here. Let's see. This is Rage, Phantom Rage. This is from Konami. Um, I would just love to pull a Zeus for you guys. I don't think I pulled, did I pull a Zeus last time? Let's just see what we get into here. 
some booster packs from Phantom Rage. Start with the right side again. What do you guys think is gonna happen? I think that, I think we're gonna get something. I think we're gonna get something. We go a little quicker through this one. A little Raid Raptors. Um, Virtual Worlds though, it's another tier one deck, I believe. Virtual Worlds, very cool. Cool archetype there. Oh, Shen Shen, there we go. That's actually a good Virtual World card. Um, if we're looking for any cards out of this set value-wise, it's gonna be Zeus and then Lulu, uh, Virtual World. Uh, Shen Shen though, that's, a, that's actually a really nice secret rare to pull, especially from this set. Um, again, not holding the most value for a lot of its different cards. That's okay. Set Shen Shen right there. Dual Avatar cards in here as well. I believe that Konami shuffles up the Phantom Rage booster packs. Another Dual Avatar. Two Jabbing Pandas in a row. That aside. Maybe, maybe. Maybe, just maybe. Um... Oh. Our ancient champ there. Cannot believe we pulled freaking four. I uh, got a glory dragon. And the beginning of those packs is pretty hot. Let me see if this front half of the box is that hot too. Let's see if we can heat things up. Zeus and Lulu, that would make this the best box possible without Starlight. Mutant Ultimus. <laughs> all right, all right. I see you, Konami. So these are actually the two most um, sold secrets from this set for us because they fit so well in the deck course. So, you know, technically for us, these were the better secrets. That's, that's when you come up to that, that concept for it's like economics. So which one has actually generated more uh, income or, or volume? So that's an interesting thing about because we've sold so many of the mutants, ultimuses, and the Shen Shens. Have they generated um, more, more than the Zeus? Yeah. <laughs> uh, virtual Worlds there. This is Phantom Rage. Come on, guys. Lulu. This is it. Believe. Rock Band. One more Ultra, and we will slow it down. Aye, Phantom Knights rank up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Man, our core set. Oh, we got one more pack there until it's half. We'll need two. Let's grab two from the middle. Two packs from the middle. Let's see, guys. Was it the middle, though? I'm gonna get another Ultra. <laughs> Armatile. <laughs> Chaos Phantom. This is a really cool card, though, guys. Really cool card. We did add this, this that card to our uh, Sacred Beast deck. Pretty cool. Virtual World again. All right. And there will be another uh, giveaway mystery pack for that's opening as well. So that's Phantom Rage, you guys. We got a Rage on there. Um, man, kind of slowed things down a little bit after that, that Thor opening. Um, wow, that Thor, that's crazy. Crazy cards, guys, crazy, crazy cards. All right, so we basically opened most of the products at this point. We still have Maximum Gold and Genesis Impact, a couple of the newer products. I have a Speed Duel uh, box here we can open. But um, let's do a little Genesis Impact. I want to see if I can pull you a Drytron Nova or potentially a Collector's Rare card. And it legitly, legitly, legit, the Ultra Rare Nova is probably worth more than a lot of the Collector's Rares at this point. Let's just see what we can get. This is Genesis Impact. Said it a few times, guys, but Merry Christmas. you guys are all safe, enjoying some time with your families. Come on, baby. Live twins.
There's their Nightmare Unicorn. Two Nightmare Unicorns. Beat Cop. Genesis Impact, here we go. Chalice Slime. And more Tritrons there. One in three, one in four chance for that collector's rare. Same odds for Tritron Nova. Cyber Emergency, cool Ultra Pool. If you guys haven't seen our Genesis Impact video, I guess I can slow down a little bit here. This is Drytron cards. You got the Magistus cards, which is like, that's Endymion. Um, younger version. A couple invoked reprints. Each Magistus monster has like a little pet to go with. You can see a lot of it's all about summoning stuff. Evil Twins, nice. This is your Evil Twin archetype. I get a little confused. It's like... Either the real life looking girls are playing video games or the the more chibi looking girls are playing video games. <laughs> I feel like one is the avatar in a game. So yes, yeah, so you can see the cards on the, the pack there. That is gonna be the live twins together as an ultra. We pulled one of them as an ultra. And Alistair the Invoker of Madness. I can't remember, was Toon Chaos only three ultras as well? I guess I could look on the back of the box right now. Um, three ultras, I guess, is okay. You know, just kind of a little, wish there would be four, so you get two from each side. Um, but I really do wish if you get a collector's rare, it would not take the spot of your third ultra. And that's how this is has gone down just to make it so you, you still get your ratios for your ultras. We got a Meteonis, nice. Another ultra rare card there. So that is Genesis Impact, you guys. A little good look at those cards. Quick look at your Drytrons, Majestus, and Evil Twins. And Drytron has a new summoning mechanic for rituals. The Nova straight up brings the cards out of the deck though. That's very good card. I feel like you can splash right on another decks with that card. All right. Next is maximum gold, you guys, because this is just too good to be true. This was definitely our hottest pre-order set of the year by far. Um, even Toon Chaos, guys. Toon Chaos had some good pre-orders, but just no one thought it would be as good as it was. Um, it's interesting because I said there should be, the collector's rare should just be a subset of cool cards, right? Kind of was that for Team Chaos, just because there were so many cool cards printed. Uh, by the way, this is Maximum Gold from Konami. I'm just gonna open it awkwardly, I guess. No, let's open it from the front, come on. We committed. By the way, this is our old sword from like years ago. Found it. All right, so we got four booster packs, two and two. Two gold cards in each of the packs. Um, just gonna set that right there for a minute. Can we pull a Blue Eyes, Dark Magician, or Red Eyes? We have pulled a Red Eyes already. We pulled a Dark Magician already. Can we pull a Blue Eyes? So, here we go. First pack. We got a trade in. That's a good sign for a Blue Eyes. Boral Sword Dragon in his alternate art. Not the biggest fan. I don't think too many people are either. It's just not very sinister, very epic looking. Mirage Contact. Miracle Contact, sorry. Very good card for Neos. Cyber Dragon Core. Appaloosa Alternate Art, one of the better cards in the set. Gorgeous, actually. I got a Claw Crow and a Planet. Look at this, guys. Man, these gold, gold packs are going to have some value. Just a little, just seems a little easy, easy to damage. Alright. Gotta be careful with these gold cards. Got a Brotherhood. Night Beam. Tour Guide from the Underworld in her gold art there. Nice. Mistake. There's a Tour Bus. A little accident. Dolce. A Martial Metal Launcher. Alright, next gold pack. Tachyon Transmigration. Mistake. Forbidden Chalice, that's a cool reprint. 
Barrier Statue, Cosmo Dark Destroyer, some Trap Tricks. Let's have a look at our gold cards so far. Pretty cool. A lot of people definitely like this gold rarity. I do as well. Just a little different, I feel like, from the Japanese collectors. Last pack of Destiny from this gold box. This is from Konami. Let's see what happens. Back of Phantom Beast, Draco Sack. Guys, good times. Buster Blader. We got Nurse Dragon made. Nice. We got Master of Blades. Intopia the Lightning. All right. Apollos the Bow Goddess, though. Not bad. Not bad at all from our maximum gold little mini box here. Amazing set. We may still have some on simplelucky.com. Um, I know we've sold out, but we tried to get some recently. So by the time this video is up, maybe you guys will see some, maybe not. Um, amazing set, though. Amazing set. All right, you guys, getting down to the wire. Um, I do want to open up one Battle City box for you guys just to show you the God Box. This is just such a crazy product. Um, I think we are actually sold out at this point. Um, but if we do have any more, um, it'll definitely be on somethinglikey.com. First off, when you see this thing, it's just so nice. Love it. Love it so much. Um, and then inside, you have your decks. Go check out, you guys, our God Box video if you want to see the decks inside. It's Spiegel decks, so you got 20, 25 card decks. Um, and it's eight different decks inside, so you can literally grab eight people that just want to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Even if they're new slash coming back from many, many moons of playing. Um, and they could straight up pick, pick up a game with this. You guys could all learn together and play. I mean, I don't know about an eight-way game, but maybe like a four-way game would be fun. It's kind of like a uh, game board box. And Konami, if you're wanting me to promote a product without like you know, just being a Yu-Gi-Oh channel, this is a product I promote. This is like a really, really good product. Um, very, very happy with this Konami. Um, if I want to complain, because why not say something negative? Kind of wish the eight decks inside were separated um, into like mini, mini like boxes themselves, like the first Speed Duel uh, decks were. If you guys remember, it was two different star decks that lost Millenniums and the Days of Tomorrow or whatever. There was three different cardboard decks inside for the 20 to 25 card decks so eight different little decks inside would have been cool because then it'd be like oh i choose this one i choose this one i choose this one if you were actually playing with eight different people or whatever very cool box guys very proud proud to be a Yu-Gi-Oh fan when i see something like that um i believe this is from konami europe by the way you can just tell by the crispness of the cards um and then to Unexpectedly for everyone who bought this product, guaranteed three secret rare first edition God cards. It legit says first edition. Slife of the Sky Dragon. Obelisk. Let me let me read it. Slifer the Sky Dragon. Obelisk the Tormentor. And the Wing Dragon of Raw. All right, so now we have a 20 card pool of secret rares from the set. Um, it's all cards that you can get in the Speed Duel box for the decks because the decks are guaranteed same cards every time. There's also like a pool of cards that come with it guaranteed every time that can boost your decks. Um, now there's a secret rare. So we're looking for Dark Magician, Blue Eyes, Red Eyes. They're high value, great cards. Dark Paladin is so amazing. We actually got them in our first box last time. That was amazing. Um, but still lots of good cards. Reinforcement, secret rare, so much. Uh, we got a Valkyrie on the Magna Warrior. That's beautiful, Secret Rare first edition. Only other time this was for uh, Secret Rare was in that Retro Pack 1, maybe 2, was it Retro Pack 2? So, extreme value. No! No! We actually got it! I was like, the only card we're missing is Blue Eyes. First edition, Secret Rare, Blue Eyes, White Dragon. This is the most valuable card in the entire set of the Speed Duel box. Again, you get five cards each time. Is it six? I think it's five. Five cards each time. And it's a ratio. And this, we've got blue eyes again. Are you serious? It's amazing. Amazing. Spell canceler. Um, a couple of people have said that the five cards are very similar each time. I'm trying to remember what we got with our blue eyes last time. I don't, I don't know if we got spell canceler, Aaronite, and Valkyrian, but we might have in Valhalla. So each time you get blue eyes, you might get these four cards. Wow, guys. If that's the case, that means you have a one in four chance of getting the Wow. 
Absolutely incredible. Oh, secret rare, first edition, Blue Eyes White Dragon. Guys, these cards are gonna be so valuable after some time. So valuable. Unbelievable. Dark Magician, Red Eyes, Blue Eyes, Dark Magician Girl. Magician Souls, Tomb Kingdom, Dark Magician Girl. Like, guys, we killed it with the nostalgic cards. We killed it. Um, that's kind of the last product from the year that we're opening, uh, <laughs> except for 2020. Again, apologies on that one. That was just uh, kind of a fluke there. 2019 tends to 2020. Wow. Um, beautiful 5Ds pack. We hope, I can't believe we got an ultimate rare there. Our luck is on point right now. Um, I'd like to finish strong with some Toon Chaos packs real quick, and then we'll go into a very nice product to just finish it off. Uh, so let's open up a little more Toon Chaos. Let's see what we can get. We're two ultras deep right now. If we get a third, it's pretty much game over. Let's see what we can do. Toon Chaos, guys. Beautiful. I think this is the European packs. Magician of Hope. We got some hope. We got some hope, guys. This is our time to shine. It's Christmas. We got some so many godly pools already. Micro coder. We have a chance at a collector's rare. We really do. We really do. And Boy of Chaos will start us. Pond of Desires Toon World. Um, we'll just we'll, we'll keep going. This is Toon Chaos. Come on, you guys. Believe. Kaiba! It's coming. packs left. Still haven't seen that third ultra rare, I believe, anyway. A dark flare. Start us to the dragon. Some more here, you know what we'll do? Set aside our two black luster packs here. Crazy cards. Um, and remember guys, we're doing over, I think, there's over 10 winners for the giveaway today. Crazy. A little mystery pack giveaway from each product we open. Got a bamboozle gossip there with some crazy print lines or uh, font for these there. Two more creator packs. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Eternal Chaos. Wow, this is really, really getting down to the wire. Last four packs. Come on, guys. Wow, side frame. Oh! No. Oh! Nope. Just regular super. <laughs> Could have been a collection drive. Three packs left. This, let me set these out here. This is it. This is Toon Chaos. The moment you guys have been waiting for. Can we get that collector's rare? There's so much value in this set. Come on, guys. Come on. Here we go. Sinet, Black Luster Soldier, there he is. Oh, Toon Page Flip, man, it was getting good, it was getting good. That's still a nice card to get though. Toon Page Flip, ultra rare. And then we'll just finish strong, last couple packs. Maybe Konami made a mistake and allowed us to get three ultras with the collector's rare. You never know, you never know. My, our Emperor Dragon there in our last pack of Destiny. Let's see it, let's see it. Come on, baby. Nice, another Emperor Dragon. All right, you guys, that was Toon Chaos. We're coming to the end of our Christmas opening. This was a good time. I really enjoyed spending Christmas with you guys. Um, honestly, I wouldn't, wouldn't have it any other way. So hopefully you guys, if you weren't able to open presents with other people, you were at least able to open some presents with us. Um, if not, um, at least just hang out with us when you guys get a chance. Nice little uh, good time. Oh my gosh, look what I got here. We got a couple of OTS 14 booster packs. Let's see this. But I appreciate you guys coming around, hanging out. And I know, again, we come back and forth with the uh, with the videos here and there just because of certain things going on. But just know we're always doing our best to really come out with some epic content for you guys. So looking forward to the new year. Got some new videos planned coming soon. Um, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be awesome. 
But yeah, you guys, uh, check out the end of the video. I'll probably talk about the different products from 2020 a bit, and we'll just kind of see what you guys think about them as well. Again, with the, uh, the giveaway we're doing, get your guys' thoughts and opinions. This is Legendary Collection, guys. This is the Game Board Edition. I wanted to end with something classic. We did some 5Ds. We did 2020, all the sets from 2020. Oh, I also have the uh, Dark Magician's Binder here. You guys have seen that. Thing of Beauty. Um, and if you guys even see it, it has like the monster. I didn't realize, you know, how nice these binders actually are. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. And again, shout out to the links in the top of the description below, simplelucky.com. We do have the Dark Magician supplies, the binder, the sleeves that we've been using, along with pretty much every product from 2020. Um, we are competitively priced on the more newer products. Some of the older stuff though, that's just us getting straggler items in, trying to get packs for the shop or something. Um, but yeah, you guys, we do have mostly all of these products. So um, can't thank you guys enough for all the support uh, from 2020 that you guys have given Simple and Lucky and Simple and Lucky as a store. All right, you guys ready? Legendary Collection 1. This is our last Christmas massive item here. And towards 2021, towards the new year, especially with COVID finally, I don't know, clearing up a little bit with vaccines coming out here and there. Hopefully we can do more um, collaborations with other other creators, because that's truly fun. That Toon, Toon Chaos video we made with Sam was, was something else. All right, so this is a legendary collection and uh, we have six classic booster packs here. Things can get crazy. You know, I don't really know what's gonna happen. I feel like it's gonna be amazing. We'll save legendary, uh, Legend of Blue Eyes for last. We'll just go, we'll go in order, that's fine. We'll go with, uh, how does it go again? There we go. <laughs> that, that should be in order. All right, we'll start with Invasion of Chaos, my favorite set. And we'll just see what we get from there. Don't forget about your special pack that you guys get inside this though. It's absolutely incredible. Obelisk the Tormentor, Sly for this guy, Dragon, the Winged Dragon Raw, and then of course, Red Eyes Black Dragon, Ferocious Dragon with a Deadly Attack, uh, Dark Magician, the Ultimate Wizard in terms of def Attack and Defense, and Blue Eyes, the Legendary Dragon's powerful engine of destruction, virtually invincible. All right, you guys, here we go. Three more God cards, that's crazy. So we have seven, eight God cards from this video. That's pretty cool to think about. All right. First pack, Invasion of Chaos. Incredible set. You guys know what we're looking for, though. Let's see what can happen. Gale Lizard, Smashing Ground. We got Orca, Mega Fortress of Darkness. We got a super rare. I'm telling you guys, it's not easy to pull foils from these. These are the 2010 packs. I think we've talked about this. Uh, you pull a rare with the foil for this. Smashing Ground, Valganian. Chopman the Desperate, Outlaw Earth Chant, Ojama Delta Hurricane, Hyper Hammerhead. Woo! This is a opening. I'm loving it. All right. Got a uh, Orca there. Dark Crisis. Still looking for that Exodia. Can we make it happen? Any foil would be nice. Iron Blacksmith, Kotetsu. Got the Dabla. Sakuretsu Armor. Drag Down in the Grave, that's a good one. Memphis the Infernal uh, General. A little Air Knight looking, looking dude. Arsenal Robber. Blindly Loyal Goblin. Sasuke Samurai and Falling Down Snatch Steel for our Archfiend cards. All right. Four more classic boosters. Here we go. Ending strong for this massive Christmas opening. Cyber Falcon, Gradius, Insect Imitation, Invitation to the Dark Sleep. Good card there. Magic Drain. Dark Fire Soldier. Enchanted Javelin. Spike Bot and Armored Glass. Wow. Veronic Guardian. No, that's Pharaoh's Servant. Epic set there, guys. We have pulled some Jinzos. We have pulled some Jinzos. All right, Spell Ruler. Can we get an Ultra Seeker Rare? I know it's tough. I know it's tough, but I feel like we put our heart and soul into it. We might make it happen. Magical Labyrinth, House of Adhesive Tape, Curse of Fiend, Sonic Bird, Senju of a Thousand Hands, Griggle, Luminous Spark Chorus, and Electric Snake. Nice, good rituals. Lots of ritual cards there. 
Last two packs, the first two sets of Yu-Gi-Oh! Metal Raiders. Summon Skull, Black Skull Dragon, Mirror Force, Seven Tools, Magic Jammer, Thousand Dragon, Baby Dragon, Guilds of the D-Knight, Steel Scorpion, Tainted Wisdom, Great Moth, that's a great rare to get. Pale Beast, Rabbit Horseman, Ancient Brain, and Illusionist, the Faceless Mage. Look at that, guys. That's some classic packs ending strong. And can we get a foil from Legend of Blue Eyes? We had a crazy video recently uh, opening up first edition Legend of Blue Eyes booster pack, um, searching for that $50,000 card. But we did have some incredible pulls up to that point. Very godly video. Check the guys out when you guys get a chance. Book of Secret Arts. Metabats, Green Phantom King, the Youthful King of the Forest, Larvis, Flower Wolf, uh, the Warrior Number One, Dissolver Rock, and Dark Energy. Wow, what an incredible opening, guys. This was our Christmas massive, massive opening. Opening every product for the most part from 2020. Absolutely crazy. Can't wait to do it again next year. Stay tuned, some more content coming soon, especially New Year's special. You know how we like to roll with that. Um, but yeah, you guys, thank you so much for supporting Simply and Lucky during these times. I know it's been tough for everyone. Um, and honestly, I'm pretty surprised that we made it through. This has been, this has been quite the ordeal um, through this whole pandemic. But yeah, you guys, hopefully you guys are having a great Christmas with your families. Hopefully this video at least um, if not, helped you enjoy Christmas a little more than you already do, but at least gave you some sort of uh, uh, entertainment over the holiday season. But as always, thank you guys so much. Remember to give this video a thumbs up, partake in the giveaway. All you guys got to do, thumbs up this video, uh, be subscribed, and post in the comments below which was your favorite product of 2020 and why, and a little bonus, maybe let us know your least favorite product and why. And simply, unlucky. be an awesome video first though let's talk about what we're gonna open up today um, I tried tried pretty hard here to get uh, as many products as I could from 2020 you guys so it's pretty cool um, if you guys remember in January January started with magical hero which was the you know best uh, legendary dual set pretty much ever and it did not need a ghost rare for that it actually just had those beautiful uh, dark magician cards inside the ghost of dark magician magician souls um, after that, don't forget about Special Edition, Secret Edition, you guys, or Movie Pack Secret Edition. This product is straight nuts. Um, it didn't get ordered too much when it came out. And that's just, Yu-Gi-Oh! has really just kind of exploded over the 2020 just because this is kind of like a couple products where people are like, yeah, we ordered a lot of it. But then Konami had to make an unlimited version because the demand was still so high. You saw that first edition booster box just stay over $100 on release. And when Konami sees that, they're like, no, 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 we're putting out an unlimited version. So that's what happened Legendary Duelist. But even Special Edition, Secret Edition, you guys, this pack has just risen in price so much. But it was expected because like the Gold Edition, you know, $50 per Special Edition. Is eventually, this, this Secret Edition will reach that point. Especially, you guys, with First Edition, Secret Rare graded cards. I mean, Dark Magician Girl will always be a few hundred dollars, PSA 10, Secret First Edition. Same with Blue Eyes and Dark Magician. Those cards are in there, so... Um, after the special edition there, we had a structure deck there coming in a minute. This is the uh, Shadal Showdown. That was pretty cool. Um, Shadal ended up kind of changing the game a little bit, the meta. That was nice. And then along came Dual Overload. Dual Overload was like huge, you guys. Dual Overload definitely changed up the game. Infinite Impermanence was in there. Um, Christron, uh, Needle Fiber, <laughs> you see that guy's name. And... Uh, Definitely lots of lots of good cards that uh, made things pretty crazy in Yu-Gi-Oh! when it came out. Um, I think I'm missing a couple things here that we just opened in our hidden booster packs from the uh, GameStop video. If you guys want to check that out, it was Secret Slayers and Eternity Code. Um, so Secret Slayers, or I think Eternity Code, um, 
I think it was Secret Slaves actually came out right in between these two in February. So, uh, and then after that we had Mechanized Madness, but Secret Slayers, you guys, was crazy, you know, with the uh, 2020 Golden Boy. Um, and then Mechanized Madness came out and um, didn't really change much. <laughs> and I think when Mechanized Madness came out, that's when Konami was like, I don't know if we're going to print that many structured decks anymore. It's not the same as like Japan with their structured decks. Um, though, if you just throw in cards like Harvey's Feather Duster or just crazy cards, maybe they will be uh, pretty popular. Um, after that, we had some Speed Duel stuff come out with the uh, Twisted Nightmares and the Pegasus Yugi one. Um, and then we had OTS 13 come out as well. I think that was like the Ultimate Solemn set. There's like an Ultimate Solemn card in there. And then Toon Chaos um, exploded. Now, we're talking about Legendary uh, Heroes, or sorry, Legendary Duelist Magical Heroes, and a $100 booster box on release. Toon Chaos was well over 100 on release. It was one of the most crazy sets I think Konami's ever printed, um, reaching I think $120 for the first edition, almost the same week on release. And then now eventually, I think the packs are 10 to $15 now. It's just stupid. Stupid set, crazy value. Konami came out with an unlimited print run, still kind of cheap, but not for long. You know, it's like, this is it's crazy stuff. So Toon Chaos we have. Um, and I think Eternity Code came around before that. And then we have Legendary Duel Season 1. Um, change the game. Konami's no longer doing special editions, so Legendary Duel Season 1. And so, here's Konami's hot streak, right? Toon Chaos, Legendary Duel Season 1. The reason this set, I feel like, didn't do too hot was just because um, there's no chase cards. You know, without chase cards, collectors have a hard time investing into a set, right? This is more of a casual set at that point where um, you get to build all the different decks from the two different Legendary Duel Seasons. Um, or Legendary Duel sets. So, this, it was okay, you know what I mean? Like, this has its place, but I feel like Konami, there should still be a reason to put in chase cards. I mean, there's, put in some ghost rares or collectors, ultimates, whatever it is in here so that the collectors could still have their chance at, you know, attaining some pretty valuable or once one printing cards. You know, they only come in this set kind of thing. But they did put the little colorful stuff, but you know, that's not really my thing. Next, we had Konami's continuation of their hot streak. So Toon Chaos exploded, dual overload. Um, Got Battles of Legend Armageddon. Konami put in their freaking 10,000 Dragon in here and it just made it stupid. So 10,000 Dragon PSA graded 10, I think is anywhere from three to $5,000 right now. Eventually it probably will be $10,000. <laughs> um, but yeah, you guys, so that's in here and that made, they didn't do an unlimited print run of this, but it did make this first edition booster set just crazy guys, crazy. Um, I remember that we sold out the first weekend. This was the first set that ever happened to us. And that's when we're like, okay, we're gonna need to up our orders because I still wanna have product in my shop. Um, so that was just kind of crazy. Um, but immediately after that, Rise of the Duelist. Rise of the Duelist actually had a little bit of a slow start. People were kind of like iffy right in the beginning. I don't know if you guys remember that. Um, kind of was like a $70, $80 box. Um, and then we had some issues with it, with people buying it out on multiple platforms. And we're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, so we sold out immediately after kind of the second week of release, two or three weeks of release. And it, it was gone for us. And then what happened was um, people realized that if there's three cards in a set that are worth $80 to $100, the box is gonna be worth at least $100, $150. So that's kind of what ended up happening. Also ultra rares in here have shot up in price. You got 20 to $50 ultras now. Um, it's kind of just becoming a, I don't want to say like legacy, but like a legendary, just epic set for core sets. Um, you can't just have $300 cards in a set. That's just, that's just crazy. So I think now you're going to see this box be anywhere from like $10 a pack. It's just, it's getting crazy, you guys. That is Rise of the Duelist. Konami's going to have to make a 2021 10 in order for this product to be, you know, <laughs> go down at all. But still, the sealed book boxes are always going to be crazy for value. Um, after that, we had the 2020 10. Pretty cool. A lot of people were disappointed there wasn't promos in here, though. Um, and I was kind of like, yeah, yeah, I see that. So 2020 10, a uh, bit of a rough patch with no promos, but it's going to rise in value. I mean, it's still an epic 10 at the end of the day, um, but it's definitely slower, slower starter compared to the 2019 10 with Woo! God cards and Nibiru, Dark Ruler no more. I mean, the 2019 tin was just always is and will always be one of the best products Konami's ever made. But Dragoon was in here, you know, best one of the best cards um, in the format now and one of the most powerful cards in general. Um, Dragoon, the fusion between Red Eyes and Dark Magician. So 
um, but no promos, so interesting Konami, interesting there. Dragon's Legends Complete Series, uh, back to no special editions, now we're doing Complete Series, and um, it's interesting because um, it's a cool set, you know, I, th I think that I liked it, but it's just like, where's the value? That's the thing, after you buy one to three of those, do you want any more? <laughs> Um, so again, no chase cards. So that's a, that's a problem. And then they come out with Legendary Duels Rage of Raw, and they're like, okay, let's let's try to do a chase card then. And so the chase card was for the Ghost Rare, Ghost Rare uh, Wing Dragon Raw, and um, it kind of worked. But at the end of the day, you have a 60 card set. So if you guys remember, I think Rage of Raw was like a $350 value on release, um, and now it is you know chilling around I think 150 to 200 just because it's in every case. So. Um, pretty interesting though. It was it was one of the sets where everyone knew it would be good because it's a god card set, but um, it slowly kind of just decayed in value over time. Um, but it will, of course, be worth a lot in years from now. Um, OTS 14 kind of came out around there. Um, I think I don't have the Sacred Beast structure deck here, but that that's pretty cool. Sacred Beast, talk about nostalgic deck. That was a pretty cool, pretty cool product. So. Um, now, so for the newer stuff, and stuff you may have noticed I'm not talking about currently, I actually have some things from Konami here. So, pretty cool. Konami actually sent us some stuff, and, you know, sometimes it arrives randomly at times. So, here's our first one. We have a Genesis Impact booster box. So, there we go. Genesis Impact from Konami. That is the newest set, December set. Um, we also have here... The November set, Phantom Rage. Now, talking about these two sets, this is when value or collectors got a little scared, um, but we'll kind of finish opening these up first. Next one is the little crush there. Structure X Spirit Charmers. Um, I current, I wasn't able to make a video for this just because uh, I had some health issues at the time, but um, interesting. This is a product, I don't, Charmers I don't feel like are as popular here as they are in Japan for sure um so I just I don't I especially our shop we didn't really have a demand for this very much I mean on release yeah it was as popular as like mechanized madness but like maybe a little more popular than mechanized madness I hope anyways um but it was nowhere near you know structured X Shadal or even sacred beast guys sacred beast is actually had the same kind of popularity the whole time so it's it's just kind of stayed pretty epic. Um, but you know, Shadal Showdown being incredible. So it's like, when you see something like this, I don't really know. And then Konami actually went even further and made it like a art, an art project kind of thing. And they added a whole bunch of stuff to it. Um, and then there's like five different play mats and five different tokens and four variant arts of the familiar possessed girls. So I like that. Also QR code for Neuron. <laughs> Um, it's probably Konami's most beautiful product. I would love to make a video for it eventually, but for now, I just wanted to talk about it. So, interesting. So this is when kind of things I feel like slowed down a little bit. You had Tr Spirit Charmers come out. Um, you had the most hyped set of the end of the year here, if I can open it without killing it. Thank you again, Konami. Um, got a Maximum Gold box. Man, that is crushed. Um, Maximum Gold just destroyed our shop. I mean... We had people coming in from all over to get maximum gold. Um, and then eventually this set kind of got a little oversaturated. I think that's kind of what you would call it for the markets here. Just people ordered too much of it. Um, and the MSRP, of course, being 150, eventually you saw these drop to like 100. Now they're finally climbing back up to like 120 and the demand is still pretty high. Uh, we actually completely sold out and I had people come in the last few days over Christmas break and we're just kind of like, yo, um, where's maximum gold? And I'm like, uh, we got like a couple mini boxes. <laughs> Dude over there is like, yeah, give me a mini box. Lady over there, give me a mini box. I'm like, all right, first come, first serve. So that, it was gone immediately. And so um, hoping we can get a little bit more in. I think that you'll slowly see a rise in maximum gold. Um, I think the saddest thing about this was just that I feel like the quality of the gold cards were hit a little bit when it came to the TCG versus the OCG since we were on top of opening up those gold cards from the collector's edition from the OCG. That was fun. That was real fun. Pulling Ash Blossoms like no other. That was that was a good time. Um, and then Konami decided to put um, gold cards, two gold cards in each pack, which is cool when you're opening it, but collector-wise, you're like, two in each pack. I mean, that means the value is probably not gonna be too good. 
Luckily though, blue eyes, um, people saw the value there because I think a graded 10 gold blue eyes of this rarity in English is gonna be hundreds of dollars. So I mean, people eventually saw, okay, well blue eyes will be worth a lot, dark magician red eyes probably. And of course you still have cards like Impermanence and Nibiru in you. So this set's pretty dang good. I mean, whether you like it or not, it has finally risen in value and uh, it will probably end up passing up that MSRP over the next six months to, year, to a year. Um, so pretty good set. And then we had Phantom Rage and uh, Genesis Impact, and this is kind of where you saw um, casuals and collectors not just too not not too interested in these sets. And so this is more of com two competitive sets that came out. I mean, you could just kind of tell this is Toon Chaos, this is Genesis Impact. If you're a classic player, you're like, oh my gosh, is that a Toon Black Luster Soldier? They combine Toons and Chaos cards, it's just game over. This set's already sold out. But then you see this, and you don't know what any of that is. Um, so I just kind of think that's what happened with collectors and stuff. So. Pretty cool, um, pretty cool set though. I mean, Drytrons is tier one, tier one deck. Love Live Girls, um, definitely cool kind of waifu deck. Um, Majestus cards are kind of like a reprint of the older spellcasters or newer witchcrafters. It's newer, older spellcaster stuff. Not really old though, you know, like Dark Magician. Um, so yeah, just kind of a lot of competitive stuff going on. And because of that, I think you saw that this box reached like a $50, $46, $8 value for a minute. Um, but with Drytrons being one of the best decks, it's just, it can't stay that low. Uh, there's no way. So like you're seeing the spell card from Drytrons currently when I'm making this video, I have no idea what it's at now, but it's like a $30 to $50 card. And when you have an ultra rare that's three per case, um, three per box and three to four per case, I think you're gonna see a box that's definitely over $50 if there's a $50 card that you're getting every few boxes. And then you have collector's rares in here, which is gonna have an average value. It's like ultimate rares, but harder to pull. Still a little confusing to me. I feel like a collector rare every box would have been a little more fun because then you could at least see one. And I would have preferred if the collector rares are a subset. I feel like if 15 collector's rares were, it's one per box and it, the cards in the collector's rare set are only in collector's rare, that would have been cool. I'm just, again, that would have made the collectors, I think, just love this set, but the collectors rares are for the most part just uh, the three archetypes here, along with Tour Bus Girl. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's Genesis Impact. Um, you'll see a, see a steady rise, I think, in value of that. I just kind of wanted to talk about the year of Yu-Gi-Oh here. And then Phantom Rage, um, just a cool set. Just, uh, again, there's no, like, nostalgic archetypes other than what's uh, the fourth generation of Yu-Gi-Oh, right? Like Phantom Knights, is that where that is at? Or is it Arc-V? Um, so a lot of Phantom Knights stuff. I mean, that was pretty cool. And then of course, uh, Mutants, Konami's uh, TCG only release. That was nice. Um, kind of wish they were more Marvel themed and less uh, alien themed, but I, I understand the, the implications there. But they did do the Cosmo, right? The Cosmo card that was uh, Wizard of Oz plus Star Wars. Um, so anyways, that's the uh, Phantom Rage set. Zeus is in there. Zeus sl slowly rising in value, especially uh, seeing some play in most Xyz decks, current decks that can Xyz. So, um, but yeah, you guys, this is kind of the 2020 of Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, we have the Speed Duel box here, this the God box. This is just crazy, crazy value. Um, Konami's best product by far for a kind of outside of the Yu-Gi-Oh realm uh, release. This is going to be so much value in a few years or whatever. I just can't even imagine. I just, and it's, I love this box. Love this box, guys. So, guaranteed God cards inside. By far, see, it's, it's, it's close. I mean, towards the end of the year, I think this is going to be my favorite Konami product. Maximum Gold's okay. I mean, it's, it's good. But Toon Chaos is just way too good, right? You know, so I'm like, so I think Toon Chaos will be my number one and then the God box. But don't forget about Magical Hero being in this release. All right, you guys, that is 2020 cards and our talk about the cards. Now let's